Good morning. We're back. We're using the satellite again. So I'm not having to steer it, which is lovely. And we've got the discs on the back. Just getting ready for some spring drilling. So I'm just nipping over with these first just to tickle the ground up a little bit. And then obviously we can go in and uh, put some spring barley seed in it. So the satellite should have worked it out. That's one full pass. And this is one full pass just here. So we'll see what it does. Is it gonna do it? Oh yeah. Straight down the middle, look. Then we'll come back down that way. And that'll be one full pass as well. You see on these lines, look where I'm going. Then at this end of the field just here, that should then be one full pass as well. We'll see. Oh yeah. Clever tractor. We'll take these off. And we've got to put another machine on now. The next machine is on. And we're going to level some ploughing out. We're ready for drilling. Coming to the end of the field and we've got preset gears. Press that. And it slows it down turn for another row and then press the satellite and it will go down that next one down there like that back we go press that and it revs it back up to preset at 15 kilometers an hour so i don't even need to hardly touch the steering wheel just does it all slow down again it backs all the revs off, sets it back down to 10 kilometers an hour. Go along here, got a line, press it again, start, get ready to, which it turns itself, then get back up to full revs again, and off it goes back up to its preset speed and revs. So a few bits on this armrest. This thing here, that controls the front linkage, the lift arms on the front, all your hydraulics and everything for there. Spool valves for the rear. One, two on there, three on there, so five. Depth control of what's ever in the ground. Flashing lights, lights. And then this is your PTO. And this is all the climate control. So if I press that, it comes up with the climate control, control so I can change all that. You see, answer the phone that's built into the radio. On, off, speaker up, change song. Diff locks automatic, diff locks, um, diff locks four-wheel drive auto four-wheel drive for the gearbox throttle here as well as down there automatic and then we've got the multi-pad we've got loads of bits on here so lifting the rear linkage up and down and resetting all the preset speeds and everything field done now on to the next one got the wife for me today because she uh she's the head gate opener Wave, darling! Yes. Next field. Okay, so it's a little bit wet just here. I have to leave that bit. Just tried to go through this bit, but look, you see where it's wet, it just sinks. So I have to go around it. We'll leave this bit. That's where I've just been, look. Oh. Go around it. Should be put the seagulls. Off they go. The rest of the field's going very well, but like I say, we're gonna have to go around this bit here. And probably come back to it in a month's time when it's dried out because look at the size of my roots. <laughs> oh yes, it's wet and I've got trainers on. Oh you see the water in the middle of it, look. 
Oh well, never mind. It's only a bit, it's only about an acre. Day 365 of rain. Can't get on. Hopefully it'll dry up in a few days. I do feel sorry for a lot of people with some very heavy ground that can't get on. Luckily we're very fortunate, but all it does is rain. Let's have a look, go around this corner and see how bad it is. Even in all this rock, look, water is running down here. Tell me it's wet without telling me. It is wet. Next load of sugar beets coming in putting it in the corner of this field. Obviously we had the mouse come down here to do that bit, but cause it's so wet now, we're piling it all in. We're gonna have the loading shovel and the cleaner loader so that the trailer doesn't go down there and make a mess. You can see what a mess it's making down here at the moment. This is the last bit of the sugar beet, just here. So we'll get that up and then uh, hopefully we won't long full drilling. There the machine is back again, look. Lovely. So this video was supposed to be about doing some spring drilling, planting, but we're gonna have to wait a few more days before I can do that now, because as you've seen, we've had a lot of rain and it is very, very wet. Yeah, so like I say, it's not going in a big long line down the field. It's just going in a massive heap here in the corner of the field. I'm going to go down this track to get to it all. Wet, wet, wet. Oh dear, we're slipping. It's very, very wet in this field, so I've made the executive decision to come and do some farming in it. Come on. Go on. All right. Are you sure it's not too wet? No, of course it's not too wet. We've just got to go and get on, haven't we? <laughs> Well, it's a little bit wet, but we'll have we'll have a go. Ha! Too wet. Oh, I don't think so. We're back on it. We won't go down by this river. Look, you can see there's a big puddle down there and we only got stuck last time so we'll we'll leave all this bottom bit down here this is why it's wet because there is a river the secret to it is when you hit a wet spot like we have here and it's going to block up use plenty of horsepower to just drag it through yes there we go and we're through and off we go again on the middle pass again. Go over this bit again. See, it's all dried up now. Give it half an hour. Oh, no, we're not. Here we are. It's not too bad. Go on, keep going, keep going. Be right. What we're going to do now, we're going to go up and down just here like this, because all that's done. And then, well, we might get stuck, let's see. Oh, look, there's some big ruts there already. If we get stuck, then it'll make a good video, won't it, to pull it out. Mm -hmm. oh. Made this little thing here for wildlife to go in, look. Lovely. Back we go down again. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh, come on. Plow through. Uh -oh. oh dear. Ah yes, I see the problem here. Some water. If, if this tractor pulls this out of here, I'm gonna kiss it. Then get the diff locks in. Ah. Right. Diff locks. Maximum. Come on! Yeah!
Where I've been to is dry. As soon as you get there, it's wet, look. Oh dear, oh dear. She ploughed through it though, didn't she? I said I was gonna kiss it, but mwah. So we're gonna leave that bit down there and plant it with some like wild flowers or something, make it look nice. But there we have it. Good, a good day. After all that rain yesterday, we've done very, very well. So tomorrow's video will- All the other fields should be uh, good enough to go tomorrow. So um, we'll go home, we'll go do a bit more maintenance in the pit. And uh, we've got a trailer to have a look at and get that ready to put away. We're all folded up and um, see you soon.